Good morning. I've been talking, talked yesterday a little bit about my folks, my parents, and they were um, quite an example for me. They were born and raised and married in the Netherlands. And when they were married, they exchanged vows like everyone who marries does, until death do them part. And when they were young, on that, on that high of being married and, and embarking on this adventure, this life that they were sharing, they had no idea that it would take them together. They were together for almost 55 years. And their love for one another and their faith in God, that, that adventure, when they said those words at the beginning, until death do us part, they really didn't know how quickly those years would go. It felt like so far away. On Facebook, I keep in touch with some of my high school friends. And some of them, believe it or not, are actually retiring now. Some of them have retired. That just seems like it was so far away that retirement when when we were friends in high school was something that old people did, right? <laughs> now we know it's all relative. <laughs> the tools that we used, that we forged when we were young, whether in marriage or in high school or in our jobs or in other relationships, by and large serve us through our whole lives. They work well for us. That's the reason we keep them. That's the reason we honed them and shaped them to begin with. Tools that help us to cope with frustrations, with pain, with dealing with other people who think differently than we do. And yet when a marriage ends, whether through death or through a partner's departure, or whether we move into retirement, now these are decisions and these are realities for us that feel final in many ways, that feel like now we move into another phase of life. And you might find that the tools you've always used to cope aren't working anymore. How do you know that? How can you tell? Even scripture tells us not to put new wine into old skins. Don't use old receptacles for new ideas and new realities. If you're feeling like you've got to force things in your life that used to come naturally, if you're feeling a deep unrest and unpeacefulness, perhaps even a lack of happiness, if your gut, your conscience has been nagging you and telling you that, that something is off in your life, it may not be time for a new adventure it just might be time for a new raft. <laughs> Are the tools you're using still working? If we cling to the old ways of doing things, even when our realities change, we'll only be frustrated. We'll only be further unpeaceful and unhappy. St. Ignatius has a terrific way of discerning decisions. How do we make decisions? How do we weigh one choice over the other? And this is just a really paraphrased version of his discernment process, but he says that when you're weighing one option over the other, look for which one gives you the most life, which one sparks some joy within you, which one quickens your heart, and lean toward that decision, lean toward that tool, so that you can continue to be joyful in this life, even though your circumstances have changed. So today, we look to forge new tools and to kiss those old tools goodbye, thank them for their service, and lay them aside because they no longer work for us. And the wisdom for us is when we can recognize that reality.